to make it look so much freaking better. So as you can see, the that hello there, <laughs> the thatch foundations. What's up, guys? It's Ryantium here, and today we are back in Ragnarok Season 2. That's right, you guys, and my mouth is moving. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> That's right, you guys, and oh snap, it's gonna be an awesome freaking day. But first, if you find yourself to be enjoying today's video, let me know what your favorite part of it was down there in the comment section. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on all social medias. Links are down there in the description. So, guys, welcome back. And happy Monday, everybody. So today, today we are back here down on the beach because I have some stuff to do and some stuff to show you. But I want to go ahead and get this out of the way at the beginning. Holy freaking name suggestions, guys. Thank you so freaking much for giving me so many great names for the Griffin and the T-Rex. But you neglected the Pteranodon, and I'm going to call you out for it. Oh, I'm going to call you out for it. So for the Pteranodon... His name is now neglected because no one gave him a name, and I feel very sad that no one gave him a name, or at least I didn't see any name suggestions for the Pteranodon. So, his name will be neglected, and it is by everyone, and we will all carry that shame. Carry it. <laughs> so anyways, we've also got Golden Wings, and this comes from Skull Crasher. so thank you so much for that name. And the reason being is because there's a tad bit of gold right underneath of his feathers, and I thought it was kind of cool. And then for the Rex, this comes from Lil Cardiac and Jacob Kendall, Green Lantern, and I thought it was pretty freaking perfect with his green underbelly and his black head, or his black top. Not a fan of the movie Green Lantern, but... Very kind of, it's kind of a nifty name. And then, there was a bunch of stuff that happened off camera. So one of my friends, uh, my friend Toxin, decided to hand me over a, uh, a level 155 Thylacolio. So now we have one, thank goodness. And his name is PETA, because it's a pain in the ass. And then we got a wonderful gift from Squirrel. So thank you so much for that, another member of the server. And uh, we got a level 253 T-Rex. And I believe, yes indeed, we got some more levels to go ahead and put on that. And there we go. Which, by the way, Green Lantern, holy freaking Jesus, look at what level he's up to now. 299, 399, no, I'm just kidding. 299, 300. Holy freaking Jesus, but all of these, I was a tad bit surprised to walk outside my house this morning and find a tie, a lady, and a boy's. And if you don't know what that's from, it's from the live streams. So if you want to be in on that, definitely consider joining the live streams. But we now own three Archaeopteryx <laughs> from the same person. So thank you so much, Dodo Empire. You know who you are. You know who you are. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> you guys freaking make my life so much better. Oh my God. But let's see, can I go ahead and go inside my house, please? Thank you. We're gonna go ahead and throw these guys inside of there. Uh, we'll probably keep one of them with us today. We'll probably keep Ty with us. Um, but they are going to keep those names. That is for- that is sacred. We are going to keep those names. But, what are we doing in today's episode, guys? Well, today, first off, I gotta show you the freaking palace, dude. Holy freaking Jesus, I gotta show you the damn palace. Let's go ahead- oh my god, he's got some levels on him. Let's see, let's go ahead and just pop a squat right here for a second and go ahead and pump some levels into here. So we got 1557.9 stamina. Let's get up to 2000 stamina. There we are. And then wait, we don't really need anything, so you know what? Let's go all nine points of the melee damage. There we are. So wish I could pump freaking movement speed on this thing, but nope, I cannot. So I did a lot, a lot of work off camera to get the palace or the palacel to where I wanted it to be. Now it's not completely done, but I will say this, it is livable. We are able to move in, which is probably one of the things we're going to move, one of the things we're going to do today. If I could speak English and spit words out of my mouth, we're going to move basically all of our stuff over there today. The only problem is I need to build the storage section of the palacel. And I just looked at myself, which, by the way, thank God, I got a freaking haircut. I look so much better with a, uh, with a haircut. Um, but I need to build the storage section of the palazzo. That way we can actually store all of this stuff. Because there is enough storage in the bedroom area where we can store a few things. But I want to be able to store everything. That way we're not doing a million trips back and forth and storing things on dinosaurs and all that stuff. That's one reason why I pump so much weight on Stormfly. But let's go and fly on over here and check out the palazzo.
Okay, so welcome to my forward operations base, or whatever you want to call it. This is where I stored most of my stuff. I had a smithy, hand mill, refining forges, construction tables. I had the lumber stations going. I probably still have lumber inside of there. Yes, indeed. So this is where I kind of did all my stuff away from the base down at the beach. But you guys ready? Are you guys ready? I'm going to go ahead and turn off heads-up display for maximum viewitude. Let's check this out, shall we? Bump it up! <laughs> There's a massive ass staircase now. All right, here we go. You ready? You ready for the palatial entrance? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Look at it. Oh my god, it looks so damn cool. So like I said, it's not done yet, but I have done so much to it to make it look so much freaking better. So as you can see, the that hello there, <laughs> the thatch foundations and the thatch ceilings are now in, which means we may try and get into painting them the dark green today, and then we may even be able to put down the crop plots today and actually begin the farm, but I love these little walkways. Let me go ahead and show you a uh, kind of a heads-up display, kind of a, an aerial display, if you will. Let's see. Let's go ahead and drink some agua. There we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like. So, basically, what my idea for this was is I didn't want it to just be one singular path that went from the staircase to the, the overhang right there, which I love the overhang so much. I wanted it to be kind of like, you know, you see courtyard gardens, there's like pathways and seating areas and stuff like that. So, what I decided to do is the two on the right, again, pointing at the TV, these ones right here. This one, and then the one on the opposite side, these are kind of like my patios, and I'm going to have three lumber benches right here, and then maybe like a fire pit in the middle, or just the lumber benches, or I'll just have a couple seats there, or something like that. Something to where you can just chill out in the garden and sit there and enjoy the views. Kind of a nice little spot, but... Allow me to show you what I've done on the inside. So originally, I was going to have three overhangs, but as I constructed them and as I kind of built all the stuff to do it, I was like, you know what? I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. But I will say this. When I was replacing the stone walls or the concrete walls with these glass walls, oh man, the pucker was real. Having like limited amounts of resources and having just not wanting to do that, Jesus criminy, I was just puckered the whole time. But welcome to the bedroom. So the bedroom is a two-story div divided by kind of the lumber ceilings and the fireplaces and all that stuff. And I wanted to say this. Thank you guys so much for the feedback that I asked for in one of the last episodes about what we should make the interior of the Palazzo look like. You guys helped me decide on lumber, and I very much appreciate that. So I decided to do something different with the floors right here. As you can see, we have lumber floors within the concrete floors. Reason being, had I replaced these ones with lumber, it would have shown the lumber outside, and I wasn't going for that. So I decided to just do kind of a lumber floor inlay with some lumber tables, and then this little spot is my absolute favorite. I love the open flow from the, from the, I almost call this a TV, from the door through the living room, and look at that view. Look at that view, and it only gets better, guys, because you can go upstairs into the master bedroom, which is right up here. And look at this. Look at this, dude. Look at this! Now, it's not necessarily completely furnished. I want to put some more stuff inside of here, make it feel a little bit more homey, put some lights in here, all that stuff. But we now have a, uh, what were we calling it before? It's not a California King. It's a, shit, I can't remember what the name of it was. But we, it's not a California King bed. It's much larger than a California King bed. Um, but we got some nightstands right here. We have an armory right here, which I don't think I've ever used. But check this out. Weapon rack, it's got dynamic storage that shows a bunch of weapons right there. Kind of nifty. Got some nightstands right there. I could actually put some storage right there, which is kind of a nice spot for shelves. We have some more covered uh, wooden cabinets right here. Modern storage shelves with a gigantic war map right there. Nice little seating area up against the map. Very, very cool. Kind of kind of nifty little spot. And then I love this walkthrough. And if you're wondering what this gigantic cement pillar is, it's going to be a chandelier. <clears throat> if, I, if I could stop with my throat. But check out this view, guys. Look at this unobstructed view of the mountains, the ocean, the desert, and the river down there. Is that not amazing? And then over here, I haven't finished it quite yet. But this is actually going to be the bathroom. I'm thinking about having a bunch of storage in here. Um, the bathroom... I don't know what else I could put in here. It's kind of hard because you can't really make the mirror in Ragnarok on Primitive Plus, but that's okay. But I decided I actually got a comment from Leroy G down in the uh, the comment section of one of the last uh, in one of the last videos that said instead of having just the holes, why not do the gate frames? And I was originally going to do that after I saw that comment, but when I put them inside, it looked really strange. And the gates on some of the buildings, they actually stuck out of the walls. So I decided instead of doing that, I was just going to do the cement pillars. Um, but 
I actually think it flows pretty well. I like the way it looks, it flows quite nicely, but I gotta say, one of my favorite parts, if not my favorite part of this whole entire palazzo, is the windows. The windows are, are the windows. The windows just finish it, and I love that so freaking much. They make it look so much better, and I'm so glad that I put them in the way that I did, um, because I thought it was going to be too overbearing, but... I gotta say, I'm loving it. So, let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? So, inside of here, I believe is going to be where the storage room is at. And what my idea is this. I want to have kind of a storeroom feel, kind of a storeroom, storeroom vibe to it. Mm, goodness, excuse me. But, what I want to do is I want to have a double-layered storage. So, what I mean by that is I want to have, like, little rooms or, like, little hallways and stuff like that with storage on top and storage inside, because my idea is I never want to have to build any exterior storage besides dino storage, ever. I want to have enough storage to store one of everything in the game. <laughs> Basically, that's what I'm going for. So that's kind of that's kind of the thing we need to get onto, to, onto today. And then we also need to move our dinos and stuff over. And then I think, I think I want to get started with painting. So we have a lot of work today, um, guys, but... I think it's completely doable in the time that the episode will run. So, guys, I tell you what, enough of the talking, it's time to get to work. Let me ride my beaver out of the freaking ground. Uh, and I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to get all of this work done. And then when I have an update, I'll bring you guys right back in. Okie dokie. So, just a tad bit of a situation update. I now have Ty with me. <laughs> from the Thai Lady Boy crew, and I look so dumb with me just like hanging on to his freaking feet while flying a wyvern. Don't get it. But a little bit of a situation update with what's going on over at the Palasal. Inside of Thor, or inside of Stormfly, I've got literally like every single thing that I have to my name inside of Stormfly, so I hope I don't die on the way over. But the storeroom is basically done. All I need to do is make up a few more of the large storage chests. Now, I decided to go ahead and do large storage boxes as opposed to the modern storage shelves, and here's why. So the modern storage shelves, you can store 100 items in them. Large storage boxes, you can do 75. Now, the reason why I did not do the, the modern storage shelves is the expense. They are so damn expensive, and I would spend far longer crafting all of them than I would with the uh, large storage boxes. So with the large storage boxes, it only really takes wood, thatch, and fiber. With the modern storage shelves, it takes like lumber, iron, like raw iron, it takes wood, it takes feather, or it takes so many other things. Um, but, and that's kind of why I decided to do that. But the storeroom actually turned out really, really cool. So I kind of did the same thing in the storeroom as I did with the bedroom, except instead of having like the stone or the, the cement on the side with foundations, the whole floor is lumber floors, and then on the insides, which I'll show you here in a second, on the insides there's cement, and then throughout the whole entire building it's lumber floors. Um, but it looks really, really cool. I'm, re I'm very happy with how it's come out and how it's turned out. So let me go ahead and fly over there and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Alright, so let's go ahead and render in the palasso. You can kind of actually get a sneak peek of it as it's rendering in right there, but jeez, this criminy, the freaking rendering is worth worse than the castle. You guys remember how freaking bad the castle was whenever it was rendering. If I if this wasn't running on the Xbox One X, I would have been frozen then. Holy Jesus. But okay, let's just go ahead and float our little butts inside of there and I'll show you what's going on. I love this little thing so much. I love these little things. Now, if you're wondering what these are, these are actually all around the building. That's where the braziers are going to go, and we're going to have lighting all around the house. It's going to look pretty cool. But here we go. We'll go ahead and throw you over there, big guy. Now, check this out. Does this not look amazing? So you can either come from this way or from the doorway, but look at this. You got double entry, or you have double layered storage, and it works perfectly. It works freaking flawlessly, and I decided to add a little bit more accent to this, this gross wall. I was going to add the cement pillars, and I think it adds a lot to it. It adds a lot of definition, and makes it just not a gross wall, but a gross wall, a gross wall with pillars. Now check this out. Up here, you got all the storage you could possibly need. Like, oh wait, no, these don't have 75, they have 45. I'm thinking of the smithy, my B. So these have 45, which is a decent bit less storage, but that's okay, that's why there's so much of it. So you got double-decker storage right up here, and then when you come down here, you can go through the doorway, and there's more storage underneath. Now, I could, I could run storage along this wall as well, but I don't know if I'm going to. Um, but if you'll notice... The storage boxes beneath there, they're actually sticking through the other storage boxes, but it looks like it's its meant to be there. So that's kind of why I'm happy about that. So you got storage right there, you're going to have storage right there, storage right there, and you'll be good to go. So the amount of storage that we have here 
is I, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with it. And you know what? I actually decided I was thinking about it in my head. I'm like, you know what? I really can't make a bathroom a bathroom a bathroom out of that secondary room over here. So you know what I'm gonna do? Instead of making a bathroom, I think I may still have part of a bathroom, but it's gonna be kind of like an office or like a study or like um, it's it maybe like a miniature storage room for some of my clothing, like a walk-in closet, if you will. Um, so I think that may be what we turn that into. I think it could be it could be decorated pretty well, but. Well, that's kind of what's going on with all of our storage stuff at the moment. I'm continuing to work on that stuff, but I went ahead and looked up the catalyst that I needed in order to make the forest green paint. I need gunpowder. So I'm going to have to use some of the spark powder that we brought over in Stormfly, and I'm going to have to start burning up some charcoal or something like that to try and get ourselves all of the freaking paint that we need. I'm going to imagine maybe 50 paint will do it, because we're only painting the top. We're only going to make it look green on the top. We don't care about the posts or anything like that, because we're not going to see the posts. So as soon as I have the amount of paint that I need, I'll be good to go. So that's kind of what's been going on, guys, uh, and I'm going to get back to work. Okie dokie, so the storeroom is finally done. All of the storage boxes have been put up, uh, they're also underneath of here. I'm gonna put in doors as well, although I don't know if it's gonna constrict it or restrict it as much as I'm thinking, because it's gotta be able to swing in. So this chest right here might be rendered obsolete if that's the case. If that's the case, then we'll just take it out, because... We don't really need one there, but anyways, we have all the storage on top of there, we've got all the storage on top of there, inside of there, and inside of there, and in fact, what I plan on doing to hide these fence foundations is I'm actually going to put in benches, and there's just going to be a gigantic seating area all along there, and in each of these little alcoves right here, I think that's going to look good, but what y'all have been waiting for, look at the grass, look at it, it's so nicely well manicured, it just looks so good. Now, the sun is not shining on it in all of its glory, but I gotta say, going from the tan, gross look of the, the thatch foundations and the thatch ceilings to this nice green, this nice manicured lawn look, I can dig it. I can dig it a lot. It just looks great. Now, up close, it's not too nice. It's not too nice. I wish the whole entire thing turned green, but I think with the the whites and kind of the browns in there as well, kind of breaks it up and adds a little bit of difference, and it makes it look a little bit more natural as opposed to just a flat astroturf, you know? So I think... I think that's what I wanted to do in today's guy in today's episode, guys. We moved all of our stuff, well, almost all of our stuff, over from the beach house to here. And in fact, what I plan on doing off camera is I'm gonna break down most of the stuff that's inside of the beach house. That way, we're good to go, and we can just bring all of that stuff over here and reutilize the uh, some of the um, materials here. But I need to start working on the smithy next. Now, the smithy, the smithy is most likely gonna be in here. The reason being, I want it close by uh, to like my bedroom because that's basically where I'm going to spend most of my time. And then in this building over here, that's most likely going to be the kitchen. And then we'll have, I think we may have a utility dino stable where we'll have like the Dodic, the Anki, the frog, or a frog, a beaver, um, and all that kind of stuff. We'll have that maybe inside of here. Uh, but as far as dinosaurs go, guys, unlike the castle where we had the dinosaurs literally inside of the castle, this time I'm not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with having a million names over at the castle, um, kind of taking away from the castle itself, you know, or from the palatial itself. All of the dinosaurs are going to be up on that plateau back there, that gigantic plateau that's basically a natural dino storage. That's where they're going to go. Now, truthfully, as far as the crop plots go, I'm going to make up all the crop plots off camera because I'm thinking we're going to need upwards of 100 crop plots in order to do this. But um, as far as irrigation goes, we're going to see how it works with the natural rainwater irrigating all of the crop plots. So what's going to need to happen is I'm going to need to place out all of the crop plots first, and then one big rain has to come by and irrigate them all. And we're going to see how well it goes with all of the irrigation and stuff like that. Now... What I didn't realize and what I didn't think about is the overhang. The overhang is actually going to block some of the crop plots from getting irrigated, so we may not be able to do all of these, but we'll make it look good, that's for sure. But guys, I think with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and end off today's episode right here, if I can actually speak a little bit of English. So guys... I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and if you did, let me know what your favorite part of it is down there in the comment section. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on all social medias. Links are down there in the description. And guys, I will see you in the next video.